So unlike the Shasta trailer, this one has a little bit different uh, setup on the interior. First you have to take off the, the bottom plate, which this is backwards, I just grabbed it. And uh, that doesn't have really much of anything. And then you come to this part here, which is an interior part. But that just lifts right up like so and give you a little visualization on it it's such a long trailer it sure is a <laughs> compact area but it's just a kitchen part for right now um, I'm gonna figure out where to best put this light in here that it will be optimal now looking in here you can see the back part which is the bed the berth of course I don't have a light on but you can you can get a good idea of what it looks like um, there's those little pieces right there now that's for I think that's just gluing the roof into the into the top so I think I'll just do like I did before and just put the light at the top Right in the center of the roof. It seemed to be work the best. And then I can route it across the cabinet and do that kind of deal. Now last time what I did was I I notched this out and it seemed to work pretty good. I might put the light in the back because see you're gonna be looking at it from the door side and that's the door side so you want it shining back so yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do okay so far got the little led 1.8 millimeter light in there just put it against this post i'm just going to come straight up it's going to be situated behind this closet and the rear of the coach so I'm gonna take that and slip it down and start reassembling it. Now with the interior back in place, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it through that tiny little hole you can see right there. And forward of the screw post, and rear of the tire, through that little tiny hole there. I wanted to come through the wheel well, but I just figured just a straight down shot would do for me. Okay. Finally got it through the hole. It's not that easy um, without a little bit of trouble And then we just put it all back together. Okay, we've got it all back together except for the screw tightening um, One thing you don't want to forget is the door The door part of it secures in the plastic so you don't want to forget that otherwise you're really um, You have to take it back apart basically I'm going to try to do this with one hand. I don't know if I'm going to be successful or not. But I'll try. I think I did it. i got to check it. <laughs> i got to put down the camera. Okay, with a little bit of uh, finagling, I got it back in. So now we can reassemble the screws. And get on with hooking up the lighting well the lights on but unlike the unlike the Shasta trailer most of the lighting on this is only visible in the rear it has some in the front but not too much so I don't know if I want to stick with this or not um, I mean it makes it kind of nice cuz the lighting's only in the rear and it's kind of like at nighttime so they're back by the bedroom but you know really don't see the the full feature of the the trailer um, I mean you can see a little bit but not a lot but it's a nice accent lighting I might just go with it what the hay right more just ambient lighting. 
And you pretty much see it from this side on the shelf because I'm going to have it come out from the uh, the wall, parallel to the wall, and then have the awning in place. I'll put the awning in just a second. So this is how you'll be looking at it from on the shelf. Um, actually downward a little bit because it's higher up on the shelf. So it's a nice little accent. It's not, you know, it's not too bright. I think the Shasta trailer is a lot more brighter than I intended. This is uh, just a lot more subtle, subtle lighting. Brighter in the back, of course. But, um, yeah, I think I'll just go with this. Let's see how this works. Now i got to wire up the wiring harness to wire all the lights together. Okay, thanks for watching.